Alright guys. Guys, guys, guys. That's the practice test. Alright guys, so Turn your eyes to me, if you would be so kind. Uh, a broken, soulless expression. I live for that. Um, anyway, so here's how the class is going to go. We're not doing the usual vocab or pangram sheets today because they get in the way of reviewing. So what we're doing first is the practice practice exam. Now, I've made the exam, or practice exam, pretty indicative of what you're going to have on the exam, hence the term practice exam. So this should take you at least, and I say at least, um, an hour, hour and a half, probably more realistically reaching to two hours. Um, I'll hand you the uh, necessary brainstorming sheets, etc. when you get there. But in the interim, everyone here has their practice exam, right? Yes. yes. All right, so do that. The idea is you do this. I spend tomorrow mostly grading them, and then I can go over what your specific weaknesses are and, you know, get you more prepared for the actual thing, which will be next Monday. Does that sound fair and equitable to you? Yes. So practice exam is most of class, but this also means that if you are, by some fluke of skill, or time or whatever done, then I will begin grading them, and you will begin doing a, uh, a free writing exercise that I've come up with. If that's done, so uh, grading, if you see, fine. Uh, somewhere in there, we're going to have a break. This is a really non interactive class because you're just showing me what you know. Always, in this practice exam, write down why you think something is wrong and go on at length because I'd rather see your work and see what you were trying to do than have to guess at it. You see? Um, oh yes, makeups. Three. I need to discuss makeups with the following people because this, your classes end on the 17th. So who here owes makeups? Cheryl, you're all made up. Cornelius, you're fine. Fine, fine. Janet, you're good. Yeah, only Saunders has makeups besides Karen and Doji. So everyone here is, make, is all caught up. There's nothing to worry about about this particular crowd. Excellent. A round of applause is a good idea. Um, does anyone have any questions after looking over the pac practices and? Which I assume you have, like, yeah. Aren't there some students that say you can just completely need to be gone? Um. See, that's where editing's fun. As to I don't think this is. I don't know what. Yes, you may excise entire sentences, but in this case, I would prefer that you modify them. Say, like, say there are two fragments right next to each other. Take away the period and say this can be one sentence. I will accept I that as an edit. It. As an edit, you see. So again, I have Tuesday to go over this and figure out where you're, where you need review. Hmm? Yes, Ms. Christina. It means really, really complicated, like a maze. So don't worry about that right now. I'm still going over stuff. If you see vocabulary word in the uh, two dummy paragraphs, yeah. then you are not supposed to define it. It's just there to, you know, resonate that just we are using our vocab. No, you don't need to underline it. It's not doing any any. But uh, you harm. say here, if you see a word, that's, that you circle it and write the definition below. Oh, yeah, you can. See. My apologies. I was writing this quite some time ago. <laughs> so, yes, if you really want to impress me and don't want to use your internet because you won't have access to your computer except for writing, on your actual exam, and you happen to remember a vocabulary word that's in the dummy writing, great! 
awesome. I'm psyched. But it's less <laughs> important than your actual editing ability because there's some pretty egregious errors in here. So as long, just go through this and say, would I submit this to someone I really cared about and didn't want to torture with horrible grammar? You know? Uh, so the exam is formulated in this manner. Uh, most of you are already looking at and doing, looking at it and doing it as, as I'm talking to you, which is fine. So first, we're starting out with editing. This is a terrible pen. Another one. And I'm working on it. Drop this thing like a hot potato. Oh, yeah. I will throw it in the All right. So editing. Thank you. And this is mostly for posterity, for the people who aren't here. The practice exam, well, they all, they all have copies of it in theory. So editing, then business writing, like writing to request, writing to inform, etc. Then three is um, BOC. Brainstorming, outlining, composing, and that's the larger part of the exam. It's going to take a while. Are you going to give us a subject? Um, I gave you a subject on the dummy one. In the practice one, I did give you a subject, like do you have a particular hero that you would like to write about. However, in the test itself, I'm still on the fence about whether I should give you a subject or have you come up with one. And both have their merits. The upside is if I give you a subject, I can reasonably expect that you'll get to work on it immediately because you know sort of what you want to do. However, if I let you pick, you might vacillate for a while and that'll eat into your time. So I'm not sure. But in this one, yes, I've given you a topic. No, because you can have bear rabbit and stuff. I, I'm like, like, not with that. Uh, That's fine. <laughs> Lastly, as I'm sure you've noticed, uh, there's vocab, but there, there's a special rule for the vocab, okay? And it's separate from all the others for a reason. Vocab is something that I'm hoping... You guys know what osmosis is, right? Just osmosis by... Proximity. Like, if you learned through osmos osmosis, you would sleep on your textbook to try to absorb their knowledge. You know? So it's like, just by being around it, you kind of pick up some things. So, vocab is bonus. You lose no points for an incorrect definition of a vocabulary word. You can only gain points. So you can go up, you know, as much as a full letter grade by getting all the vocab correctly. However, I will be here. I will be watching your computers. And if I see anything that even looks like a dictionary, ah, God's help you is all I'm saying. Um, Just get up and leave like? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go over e each one of these tests. Oh, guys, this is really important and probably self-evident, but put your names on the top of your practice tests or else I don't know what to talk to you about. Okay? And I will say it in that, that sort of tone. Anyway, you guys are all working anyway, despite what I say, so I might as well follow your example and catch up on some work myself. Um, I'll let you know when it's time, to, time for break, and then, God willing, we can go over some of this. <laughs>